how to use the dialog component from Nuxt uh, Chatien. Basically, here on our dashboard, we are supposed to get a button up here. And we would like that when we click on this button, we get a pop-up. And here it's going to be about creating a new product. This is what we are going to do in this lesson. If I go on Nuxt Chatien, I got a component called Alert Dialog. And if I click on this button, we can see that I got a pop-up that opens like this. You can also use the dialogue uh, here component, which is here, and doing basically the same thing. Me, I'm going to work with this one. Okay, so what I need to do is to install this alert dialogue. Okay, and once it's done, I'm going to create a custom component that will contain all the alerts itself. So I'm going to go here, and remember we got this BG neutral box that is useless. I'm going to create a new folder called product and inside I'm going to have a new dot view and I'm going to initiate my component this way. Directly inside my component, what I can do if I want is to copy paste the existing <laughs> code of Chatien. This is the force of Chatien. It's giving you all the code to start directly. There we go. So here, instead of having my box, I'm going to call my product new component immediately. The component itself as the button and the dialogue at the same time, right? So my server is running and if I come back here and I update, I got this open here and if I click, we have the box that we want. So now we are going to work on this dialogue to make it um, presentable with a form to create a new, pro a new product. So here I'm going to remove this open, I'm going to add a button and let's say that it's going to be add a new product. There we go. So we got this element, which is here, add a new product. And we've got this form in here. So I'm going to keep the dialogue header. Okay, but I'm going to remove its content. And I'm going to keep also down here um, the uh, cancel and the uh, button continue. But here it's going to be create. On create, what I want to do, and here I have to use the on click here. I want to create a new product. All right, so here the create new product, it's a function that doesn't exist for now. So I got to create it and I got to create a const create a new product is an async function in here. And down here, I'm going to do all my um, business logic. Okay, so here I'm going to have a try catch, um, try catch finally, sorry. And inside here, what I would like to have at first is to have a loading state. So a loading value is equal to true. And at the end, I would like, of course, to have a loading false. Right now, I don't have a loading state. So two possibility, I can create a ref which will be on false by default. The second possibility is to create a composable. We are going to do that probably later. Okay, so now here I got this uh, state. What I can do here is just, if I don't want to show this part uh, on loading, I can hide it or show my um, loading state, okay? So here I will have all the business logic, okay? On my create new product. Right now it's not going to do anything and you are going to understand why. So. How do I control this pop-up to open and close? This is the topic. Because when I'm going to click here and I'm going to click on create here, we can see it's closing automatically. But we don't want that. We don't want to close automatically the pop-up. We would like to wait for the process to continue. So I'm going to start with that. Well, the thing is that with alert dialogue, and if I come back here and I go to the primitive API reference, I can get access to um, the uh, library that Chatien is using to create this effect. And if I click here, I can see that I uh, arrive on radix.view. And on radix.view, I got exactly the same component as Chatien. The difference is that Chatien made his own thing about it. So here, if I come down, I can see that I got a variable, a prop called open. So basically, I can catch the status of this open dialog. So if I put open and here I put true, for example, and I come back and I load, you see that I got by default my open uh, dialog. But if I click, it doesn't close. So I would need to actually bind this open value to 
another value and we could come up here and put here open set uh, ref on false or true. So at this step of the course, I'm going to create the composable. So I'm going to open a new folder and I'm going to type composables. And if I remember well, I already talked about it in a previous lesson, but probably you didn't saw it. I'm going to create this composable to share between all my uh, components some variables, not the state, the variable itself. Every time I'm going to call my composable somewhere, it's going to initiate a new state. We're not going to share the state. So what I can do here is to come back. And basically, this use helper, I'm going to use it everywhere. So I'm going to export by default the function use helpers. And if you remember well, if you have followed my next free course, you know that here I don't need to import use helper into my component. It's going to be auto imported. I can put my loading here and I can put false by default and I can put open false and I can return loading and open. So now coming back in here and everywhere in my app, I'm not obliged to always call them here. What I can do is to call directly use helpers and here I can call loading and open. So now my composable is distributing these values all the time everywhere in the app. Be safe again. It's not because open here is untrue. That is going to be untrue for every other component that is calling use helper. But I explain this more into my private courses on my platform. Okay, so now we got the button add a new product. So remember by default here, and we need to bind open, which come from here. By default here, open is on false. So if I click on the button, nothing happens. So what I need to do is to bind my click function here and put open on true to add a new product. And when I come back, it opens the window. Down here, I have to do exactly the same. I have to say, hey, if I cancel, open is going to be on false. So now I can come back and I click. There we go. There's only create here where we miss and we need to come back to our function on create new product. And we need to say open.value is equal to false. So if I come back and I click here and on create, we are good. At this step, we will wait for the process to be done. Okay, let's say that I'm going to have a just a very simple form. You are able to create the form you want or inject a new component for that. I'm going to use the alert dialogue, dialogue title already uh, fulfilled by um, Chatien. Here I got my create new product. So when I click here, create a new product. And down here, I'm going to use the input also coming from Chatien. So if I come back here, we see that I didn't import yet input. I can go directly here on Chatien view and see input down here. So I can come back and just install my input. Okay, once it's done, we can see that I got an input. So what I can do here is just to add a placeholder and here I can put my product name and there we go. So here I can fulfill my stuff and when I create a new product, I can do the whole logic that I would like to after. We are done with the design of this dialogue. You understood that you can bind the state of the dialogue and play with that state with your own actions in here we can pass to the next element to learn.